run. Coming up next, we have I Am Bread Any Percent, run by Blood Thunder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick moment to have a word from our sponsors. And welcome back, everybody. We have a $50 donation from Milo Suits that says, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was insane. We have a $10 donation from Mitsuhito Honokaguchi that says, shout out to the great doggo on the mic. Another SGDQ and my wallet is already crying. As always, great event and insanely fast games. Money goes to the dog's name in Earthbound being Mike. Who's a good doggo? Yes, you are. By the way, to anybody watching, shame is a foreign concept to me, so expect me to do things that would make normal people. Mm. We have a $10 donation from Pelzio that says, this is the first time I've had a chance to watch an SGDQ. I've always been into gaming since I was a kid, and seeing people destroy them for charity is really heartwarming. You guys are doing great, and I am glad I can help to a good cause. This money is going towards level one lingering will. Make it happen, people. We have a $5 donation from Lavender that says, big shout out to my awesome friend, Mike. You know, this has to go towards the Tetris Grandmaster. Loads of money. We have a $25 donation from Anonymous that says, thanks everyone for the awesome speed runs. Let's hit a million. We have a $5 donation from Snowby that says, finally I vacation the same time so I can watch GDQ this year. Looking forward to the Half-Life runs later and enjoying THPS4 in the meantime. We have a $10 donation from Robot Jester that says, keep on melting my ears with that chocolatey voice, Mike. And I hope that couch is as comfy as it looks. We have a $25 donation from CC that says, for some reason I keep forgetting to donate to GDQ events. I think it's time to break that habit. Hopefully next year I'll break the habit of forgetting to attend. <laughs> Hoping everyone there is having a great weekend and I look forward to seeing more games, beg for mercy. We have a $15 donation from Ninja Kid that says, hey, long time watcher, first time donator. I've started learning Skyrim many percent because of how much all of these events and speedrunners inspired me as Byrne refuses to cooperate. We have a $15 donation from Shra G that says, the Tony Hawk runs were awesome. Seeing a part of my childhood being beaten so fast is simply amazing. Greetings to my brother who is also watching right now. Save the frames, kill the animals. We have a $15 donation from TH126 that says, thank you to the two great young men representing the Tony Boys, TK and Gwisht. We are very proud of you. Oh, TK, hopefully you can still get that sausage, but most importantly, do a dip on the dip. Rooting for you always, TH. We have a $25 donation from Fog that says, hey, TK, don't think I forgot about you. Your run is going to be TNT Dynamite. From one goat to another, good luck and have fun. We have a $10 donation from MX Mad that says, Gamers United for a good cause. Much love to all the runners. Kill the animals, kill them all! We have a $10 donation from Vantage828G that says, What game involves killing frames or animals? Half of the donation goes to that smooth talking reader's choice, the other to Mr. Meeseeks. Mine is going to kill the animals.
You guys both got game audio, right? Also, a reminder and a shout out to one of our sponsors, the now? Yeti, the official tea sponsor of Games Done Quick since 2012. In celebration of providing shirts for their 10th Games Done Quick event, the Yeti has increased their shirt donation amount from $3 to 4 With each $11 shirt sold from the AGDQ collection, the Yeti will donate $4 towards Prevent Cancer Foundation. Shirts are available during AGDQ and until January 15th at midnight CST. Visit theyeti.com slash AGDQ and get your shirts today. We have a $5 donation from Greg that says, I love Hollow Knight so much. Thanks for giving such an awesome new title some exposure. We also have a $10 donation from Shiranui that says, so one thing that has me confused, is it white or wheat? Devs need to confirm this. Oh, and uh, kill the animals, save the frames, because Matt Pat said so. We have a $100 donation from Schmas that just says, yes. We have a $10 donation from Schmoose Deck that says, great event, great cause. Uh, one of the events that glues me in front of my PC every time. We have a $5 donation from Donnie32 that says, I love this event of video games and I want to support this cause. Good luck to all the speedrunners. We have a $23 donation from Anonymous that says, I bet my friends if I pass this exam, I'll donate. Eh, it doesn't seem like a bad choice to donate to such a good cause. All right, I'm going to have the host throw, and then you guys are live. We have another $30 donation from Anonymous that says, thanks for the cool and awesome runs. Happy face. We have a $15 donation from Shady that says, good morning, loving the speed runs, and yet I haven't finished donating. Shout out to Mike, the announcer. Donation incentive goes to announcer's choice. Kill the animals. Okay, you can throw whenever you're good. All right, and we are going to go ahead and get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. This is I Am Bread Any Percent with Blood Thunder. All right, hey everyone, this is I Am Bread, or also known as I Am Rod's host. Uh, joining me on the couch is, of course, Spike Vegeta, you guys know him, mm -hmm. and my girl, Sarah Lee. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she doing well. So this is a story about some raw toast toasting itself to become toast toast. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, which is a perfect time because it's, you know, breakfast, everybody likes toast. So if you're in chat and you want to spam something, you can use the little bread emoji, uh, or you can just tweet me pictures of toast if you want. That's fine. <laughs> My entire sub discord right now is making various amounts <laughs> of toast at their home. Yeah. So. Take a picture of it. All right. So we're off. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much the game. So every level has a couple different ways to actually become toast. We're gonna go. Oh, okay. I'm trying to do a, a small little time saver there, but we can just climb. So if you've ever played something like Goat Sim, Surgeon Simulator, something like that, uh, <laughs> you'll know how hard it is to control <laughs> games like this. It might look a little easy, but. I don't think it looks that easy. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Let's see if we can get over here. Nope. <laughs> oh, party foul. Yeah. We got some eggs on us. That's fine. Who doesn't <laughs> like eggs? <laughs> I got like no egg got on there, but all of the <laughs> shells got on there. That's my favorite part, you know. I just really <laughs> like the shell. A lot of protein. All right. So we're gonna skip the toaster and we're gonna go straight for the rocket ship, <laughs> which everyone knows is the best way to make toast. So, standard part of everyone's kitchen. Yeah. I mean, if you don't have one in your kitchen, you should go out and buy one after this. <laughs> so I need to be very careful not to knock this over too soon. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and just like that, we have toast. Yo! <laughs> hey, there we go. But in case you want to enjoy it in your lounge, I'm going to show you how to do that too. Because you don't need to be in the kitchen to make toast. Okay. So we can get this. Don't drink, kids. So if you're holding onto an item, you can kind of just float across the map and also get stuck underneath this. Okay. 
This game's got some pretty accurate sound effects. Oh, it's just game. exactly what I imagined. If yeah. Toast just slams itself up against the air conditioner. So we have to turn this on and then turn the wheel, which is a little challenging, but there we go. And I assure you, that's not blood. That's jam. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. All we have to do is wait here a little bit and flip over. You'll also notice at a building in the top left, that's kind of your health. It goes down in different ways. Touching the floor is a bad one. Um, there's some other terrible ones, but okay. <laughs> Delicious <laughs> looking. <laughs> that's my toast always looks like that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't keep a loaf of bread right next to the bed as well? So, in case you get hungry at night, you know. I'm actually going to try to break this bowl real quick. Okay. So, I'm going to break this so I can get a little shard of it and try to fly across the map. It's probably one of the more challenging levels. There we go. There we go. That was, yeah. yeah. This is a level where if you don't get that flight, then you just land on the floor and you pretty much don't become toast. It's really sad. I enjoyed the portrait of yourself back at the room I saw at the last second. Yeah. Who doesn't like that? I don't know. Also didn't explain the grip at the top. That's how long you can hold on to something. Um, it's not really important. You know, type one in chat if this is what your toast looks <laughs> like right now. I mean, if you if you use an iron, it pretty much looks like this. <laughs> I imagine. I've never used one. Okay. We don't have a <laughs> microwave up in our room, so this was about the closest we could get to making toast <laughs> every day. Sorry, Sarah Lee. Come on, tip over. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah. Still toasting the wrong side for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this game where it makes no sense at all. Okay. Okay, that's toasting that side for some reason. I, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it works. You don't question. <laughs> all right, right. Sure. Yeah. Sure. In case you you know just get hungry while you're on the toilet, you can have some bread. <laughs> this level is actually kind of tricky. We have to avoid the water. No one likes soggy bread. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yo. Alright, this part's kind of tricky. This radiator likes to move while you're on it, which is real nice. I don't know how much bread weighs, but probably not enough to actually move a radiator. <laughs> oh. So I still have to turn it on, but waiting for grip to reset. So yeah, the radiator's moving too. Why not? Okay. <laughs> so like in the lounge, we have to turn this little dial down here. Can't even see. Maybe. This looks actually impossible. <laughs> this there is where I would have not quit. Oh. Oh, now I'm stuck. Nah. I think I'm stuck underneath it. Yeah. All right. Oh. It's probably the trickiest part. All right, we'll go for one more time. We can. Every level has two ways of toasting yourself. I think I said that before, but uh, they're usually slower, which is why we go for these. A lot safer, though. I see that timer in the top right corner. Is there a pretty good IL community for this game? Uh, not really. There's only like three people that run this game all together. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I <laughs> don't know why I'm so shocked right now. 
I mean, pretty much the, every level is doing the IL strat. It's just whether you get it or not. For sure. Yeah, it's not going to work this time. All right, we'll do the uh, the other method. Because I know everyone doesn't have a radiator in their house. <laughs> My foot was covering up the <laughs> I am loading part of the screen at the bottom. Nice yeah, touch. It loads forever sometimes. Those high-res <laughs> graphics we're working with, <laughs> Dave. You don't like the little bread in the corner? <laughs> I'm the most <laughs> unobservant person ever. I was just like, I don't know, I was looking at generally like the middle part of the screen. Yeah, it's so, it's so nice to look at. So many colors, so vibrant. <laughs> All right. Oh. We actually skipped ahead a level. Don't want to cheat everybody out. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we just beat it. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, back to the bathroom. Yo, so is that like the golden tanuki suit up there? <laughs> so they actually put that in um, for people who are more casual at the game. If you fail a level twice, they give you an item that gives you like uh, <laughs> infinite grip and infinite edibility. <laughs> so you can just beat the game however you want. Dude, it is the golden tanuki <laughs> suit. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Get around this corner. Unfortunately, the other way is kind of slow, but it's a lot easier. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. That's good. Nope, maybe it's not. There we go. <laughs> now I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes you work with what you got. You got I mean, if you really want some toast, you'll find a way. <laughs> so notice I'm kind of just moving back and forth. That's to speed it up a little bit. Oh. All right, we're getting a lot in the middle section so yeah. far. Who doesn't like that? Very solidly. That's one side done. I just got to flip it around. That is the farmer's tan of toast <laughs> right there. <laughs> How did this get into the marathon? <laughs> How did it not before? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we Yay! Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. my gosh! Sometimes you just want to go to your garage and make some <laughs> toast, you know. Pre-broken. Yeah. So maybe wondering, how do you cook something in a garage? There's only one answer: the lawnmower. <laughs> Yomo brand lawnmower. If you're wondering what Yomo stands for, it's you only mow once. That's all you need with this lawnmower. <laughs> the grass will never come back. Okay. This part's kind of tricky. There we go. <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I wanted it to just <laughs> fling you out of a cannon just across the room. It pretty much does if you don't stay uh, attached to the wall. Oh, okay, yeah. dude. I'm hyped then. Yeah. I'm sorry when I said this is a true speed game. I asked you before, and I was like, so you're going to world record being like, this is a meme, right? Like, no, the world record for this is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's you have to do all the stuff just perfectly, all the movement, which... Mm. Uh, Something like this, even if you know how to do it just right, things can go wrong for no reason. Um, 
So it's something I wasn't going to bring up, but for some reason this PC actually has the mouse controls back, or like the joystick backwards. Which usually would be a problem, but for this game it's just as janky as it would be, so. Um, kind of have to do some stuff on the spot here. Let's see. Shouts to Yama. Kind of where you just wave around until you hit something. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, Damn it. oh. I've actually never seen that happen before, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Where were you when bread lifted a lawnmower off the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Another long loading screen, apparently. This game was just too powerful. Dude. <laughs> it was ahead of its time, clearly. It's actually trying to give you time to go make some toast in case you get hungry. Right. Any day now. There we go. Man, you stuck. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was good, everyone, right? Oh, this is much better. All right. Let's see if we can. Nope. Let's go back down for a second. All right. I'm actually going to get a little risky here and just go for the wall. That's all right. Five second rule. Let's make it like a five-minute rule. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's right on the wall. Also, yeah, that soccer ball just goes crazy. Don't worry about it. All right, there we go. Yeah, get it, Toast. <laughs> Woo! Look how beautiful that is. Yeah! Oh, that was an A! That was an A, everyone! <laughs> All right, on to the garden. Perfect place for some toast. God, I hope Wilson's above this. <laughs> we have a $500 donation from I Am Impressed. <laughs> <laughs> says, here's some bread to help a good cause. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Oh. We can still make it. So, yeah, we need to get up on top of this fence so we can kind of move around easier. Um, the old strat for this level used to be completely risky and not fun to do. Don't want to go too far up. Just trying to get over to here. Yeah, that cartwheel action. All right. So we need to get inside this little toolbox to grab one of the screws, but we don't want to grab the actual toolbox. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Yeah, we got one. Okay, cool. So we can use this to fly. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the double! <laughs> Woo! Let me see what I'm going for here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just stay here for a second. Or 
really doesn't want to go over there. There we go. Don't try this part at home, kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I still need to actually grab the match, which is kind of tricky. There we go. Oh. There we go. Uh. Stuck the landing! <laughs> <laughs> Happy 4th of July, everyone. It's a nice barbecue. I hope this is literally the only thing on your grill tonight. <laughs> yeah, just grill it hey, some toast. Hey, nice. That was a solid beat. So I haven't mentioned it at all, but this game actually kind of has a, a story and a plot. I was going to say, I've been seeing these incident reports. What have yeah, you been doing? Don't, you don't want to read those. They're pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of where the game... No, she has yeah. Uncle Jack. Yeah, his chicken dinner is pretty nice. You know, it's a Euro 50. Some nice product placement in here. Shout out to all of our sponsors <laughs> for Games Done Quick. Shout outs to Wonder Bread. Andy Freeze. <laughs> Uncle Jack's Chicken Dinner. Oh. Right there. oh. Yeah, don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. Oh, we're still good, maybe. I got it. Oh, the clutch! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I said, there's kind of a story, and this is where it... One of the only cutscenes in the game. Um, <laughs> but it actually lags the game. It drops, like, 10 <laughs> FPS. <laughs> Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Somehow from that, we end up uh, on this next level, if it ever loads. <laughs> we may see the last one. Oh, maybe. We have no. a $20 donation from Ash247 that says, Long time watcher, first time donator. Had to donate during this I Am Bread run. Donation goes to Spike Vegeta's choice. Just bread. Just buy me bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So we're in the back of a car. Um, Pretty dangerous place for your bread. Good fallout. The time's gonna be coming up here pretty soon. As we get to, uh, this <laughs> Driving guy. on the right side of the car, come yeah. on. Yeah, the car moves around and bumps up so you kinda get flung off. Let's see if we can get this a little quick drop. And time. Yo, time. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're right. All right. <laughs> I didn't do it. Dead. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I'm pretty sure we just killed Bob. So. <laughs> That's pretty much I am bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much <laughs> thank you all for watching. Thank you, Spike and Sarah Lee. Yep. Lovely guest. Uh, I'll see you guys <laughs> later for Dishonored 2. <laughs> all right. <laughs>